we've certainly seen some very uh, extreme events lately in Texas. And uh, the winter weather that we had two years ago saw t conditions that uh, saw the whole entire state of Texas below freezing. And uh, nobody that I've talked to with TxDOT had ever recalled seeing an event like that. And so that was really unprecedented. We are putting our resiliency plan together right now. We're one, making sure that we've got a clear understanding and a definition of what resiliency means. And we, but then beginning to look at updated data and information that we have available and how that data is changing and how our weather conditions and precipitation patterns and land use patterns are all changing and the effects that that has on our transportation system. And then very importantly, engaging a broad range of stakeholders in that effort. I'm optimistic about the future. We've got some tremendous challenges, but the challenges make it exciting. That's uh, what the, the, the women and men with the Texas Department of Transportation come in and do day in and day out. It's part of the reason I'm really proud to work with the great team that we have here is that attitude that, uh, that we can overcome these challenges and uh, continue to meet the needs of the transportation uh, and, and public in, in connecting folks uh, with what they, what's important with them in Texas.